How do you do folks? Happy Friday. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Wanted to do a video on this guy. Recently released within the last probably month I'd say. It's a John Deere 4320. Dual wheels on the back. Part of the Replica play line. This is the box of course. Plastic shell in here. Tractor is tied down. 2023 says right there so finally getting stuff with 2023 on the box a lot of the stuff i bought earlier a little bit earlier in this year within the last couple months had 2022 on the bottom nice pictures of the real tractor here on the ends pretty neat box i uh did customize this one a little bit so uh, we'll move on to that now. The start of the show, the John Deere 4320. All right, everyone, here it is. The Ertl 116 scale John Deere 4320 replica play series. I don't mind this series at all. Um, I wish they would release a lot more of this older stuff in that series. I think we need some Agri Kings in this series. I don't think, know that we've they've released a replica play Agri King yet. I don't think they have. Kind of be nice if uh, we've seen one now. But this was just, like I said, recently released. It had dual wheels. I changed out those wheels from the rear and the front. Did some stuff to it. it I thought it turned out fairly nice overall. Not too bad. The real tractor produced John Deere 4320 produced between 1971 and 1972 new generation series of course the next series comparable tractors to 4430 and the next model in this line it says uh, 4620 but uh, isn't there a 4520 <laughs> I've got that's going to be my comparison I think this is not accurate. It should be a 4520, then a 4620. Waterloo, Iowa. Total built $21,485, $12,000 in 1972. The John Deere 4320 might be called a 4020 with a turbocharged engine, although both the engine and final drive received upgrades. The 4320 was created to fulfill a horsepower gap in the John Deere lineup between the 4020 and the 45 slash 4620. Power, PTO tested 116.5, drawbar tested 101.7. So this was the first John Deere that was 100 horse. If I'm not right on that, someone let me know, but I think I've been told that this was the first one with 100 horsepower. Really classic old John Deere, part of the 20 series. Really love the designs of these, the 10 and 20 and the 6030. That's my favorite design. So the rear end there, as far as the rear end goes, that's straight out of the replica play box there. I didn't really change much there at all. When you get to the driver's station, I did do some things on the flat fenders here. Nice 20 series style fenders. I did put in a caution flasher and a brake light on the rear, on the rear back of the fenders there. Also the back of the seat, I put in a work light. Driver's station. I'm surprised these little levers are here because um, these are meant for kid play. I'm, I'm, I was shocked to see those there. So I've had some replica plays I've bought and it has the area for them but it doesn't have the levers. I was really shocked to see that. Also I added this fender radio there. Painted it John Deere yellow. It does have a little sticker that goes there but I'd probably just leave it like it is. See, of course the seats, the John Deere yellow, the steering wheel is black with a John Deere insignia. The dashboard is an inserted piece, plastic piece of what it looks like. It does have some foot pedals down in there. And they're uh, plastic on either side. Like I said, the little plastic controls here by the right hand side of the driver. On the hood, there's your nice long hood. 
long plastic tall muffler oval muffler and I did add the intake it did not have the intake I added that decaling of course you got your John over here out here near the grill the yellow stripe with the green John Deere over the vertical screening 4320 diesel up here near the operator station engine details and components for what it is I always think they do a pretty decent job of capturing some of the engine detailing in these castings there's your front grill of course I did add the weight bar in the weights those are from Dakota all these parts pretty much are from Dakota toys painted the weight bar the John Deere yellow put a little John Deere decal on either side of the weights the tires are six around all rubber of course I uh, the original tires on the tractor of course were not spaced out and these aren't the original I added these Old, older style Ertl tires to the tractor, spaced them out, and the rear wheel. Nice uh, deep rim there, looks pretty decent. The front tire is a five ribbed tire from Dakota, looks pretty good. I, th I thought it turned out fairly well. Looks better than the ones they had on there on the front makes it look a lot better from the front I think in the front wheel I did add a metal insert there on the front of the wheels on top of that Dakota rim to make it look pretty pretty cool I think I think it turned out fairly well there all right we'll move on to my comparison let's do that now all right here's my John Deere 4320 replica play custom Alongside my John Deere 4520 open station with dual wheels. Two classic 20 series deers right there. Looks pretty good side by side. All right, everybody, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, Ertl 116 scale John Deere 4320 from the Replica Playline recent release. I got mine like three weeks ago. Uh, my brothers, uh, they were, he seen them at the dealer and he lives like five minutes away. He went up there for me. I, I will pay for it over the phone. It was on a Friday because I was going to his house on Saturday, but I wasn't going to make it up there before the dealer closed. So he picked it up for me and I got it from him. I want to thank him for doing that. It's a pretty cool tractor. Classic John Deere. First 100, ho 100 horsepower tractor from John Deere. Like I said, if I'm wrong on that, let me know. It's pretty classic for sure. All right, everyone, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that always tunes in. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.